And that's an interesting matchup. Marcus DeMass, Terrence Reed Jr., that's big boy ball. Yeah. Hawkins on the drive, and it's tied at two. That's a great take by Hawkins there. And the rebound, Ty Rogers will push it up the floor. Illinois looking to push a little bit more than they did against Maryland. Boy, Rodgers with a quick attack. Yeah, he's going to be aggressive. All these things contribute to their performance on Maryland and then being flat. Rodgers aggressive early. Here's Hawkins for three, and Coleman Hawkins will shake the rust off quickly working against Doug McDaniel. That's right, he's going to have to. But he can really push the rock. And Green with the Jam Quincy Garriott. He's kind of blended the best of his game with Syracuse and the best of his game at Oregon and all into one picture here with Illinois. Great call. Great call. Reed at the foul line. Good for two. Terrace Reed. Those are the type of defensive possessions that Michigan is going to need to close this deficit. Oh, oh that's Doug pretty. McDaniel, so pretty. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Brad Underwood is, is having the time of his life with this team. This is a connected team. He loves coaching. Boy, and Illinois got plenty of time here with numbers advantage. Garrier takes advantage with the three. Yeah, that's a great job of advancing a rock by Harmon there. He saw Garrier wide open in that corner pocket. A good switch by Garrier, keeping Wellen in front. Turns the corner to Llewellyn and gets the two. That's very nice. Yeah, that is nice. And that's a sign of explosion from Jalen Llewellyn. So that's Great sign as young man back on the floor. Scoring that knee brace on the left knee. Pulled that ACL December 2nd, or came back December 2nd from the ACL injury a year ago. Drop down and a two hand hammer for Gary A. Dion sitting there waiting on the double team. Yes, yeah, agent when he finished playing because he could definitely do this job. Trying to replace us just his cheddar. Floats that one in for two. What a three-point game. But well, Kevin, nobody can replace you. I'm talking about on the color analyst side. Come on, man. Literally anybody in the stands <laughs> can run over here and do this. The mass there's that double show for a minute, but then Jace Howard went away, and Damask attacks Namari Burnett, gets the bucket and the foul. Seven to shoot. And they need to get their booty in gear as Hawkins with a deep three, and he splashes it home. <laughs> Oh, man. Coleman Hawkins already into double figures. He didn't like having that streak snapped on Sunday. No, he did not. And he's been very, very aggressive. And you see, he's almost a rover defender now. Sitting in the paint trying to provide Luke Goody some help. Kamwa, when he turned baseline, Hawkins came over to help with Kamwa. For a guy who has been as consistent as he's ever been in his career, McDaniel to the rim for two. Doug's got six. Pretty good defense by Reed to stay in front of Hawkins as he tried to turn baseline. Denied there. Now it's Damask. Oh, oh degree of difficulty at 10 for Damask. And Llewellyn to the other end. High off the window for two. Well, Jalen Llewellyn looking a lot more aggressive here today. It's a good job of getting all the way to the rim. He didn't like, he didn't like when some guy was asking him how he felt before the game. I think you're right. Watch how patient the mask is in this scenario. Well, that's just smooth. You can't, you can't speed him up. <laughs> say that fast. Real, say that three times real fast, Kevin. Here comes Doug up the floor again. Well, he's motivated. He knows the only games he's playing for a while are right in this building. Here's Llewellyn. He'll try the three. Count it. McDaniel against Rodgers, probing, drops oh, it home, we're tied at 38. High ball screen, stop, start, now you see me, now you don't. Doug McDaniel getting those vocal cords warmed up. Going to try to beatbox the whole second half for the Wolverines. There's Rodgers working against Kamwa. Kamwa holds his ground, and Rodgers still able to finish over it. Uh, Rodgers. <laughs> That's true, Kevin. Where do you think he got that from? That was the thing, you know, old-time nicknames were always the opposite. You know, Shorty was usually 6'10". Oh, uh, good point. In the corner, Hawkins for three. Hey, Speaking of 6'10", guys. Here's the mask. Against Kamwa. Oh, man. He's just so skilled. Oh, the timeout 
taken by Michigan. Marcus Damask. I think Marcus Damask going. Jace Howard is guarding him, who is an excellent defender. Boy, tough finish oh, by Harmon. He'll go to the line for one more. Still 0 for the day for Williams. 0 for 6. Goody. The trailer for 3 in Illinois with the response. Back up by 7. Boy, that Llewellyn tried to keep it alive. Hawkins took it away. Ahead it goes to Harmon. To the rim for two. And just like that, Illinois has opened up a nine-point lead. I'll tell you what, we got ourselves a, a boxing match here. One team throws a haymaker and the other comes back with their own. And Kamwa trying to throw a punch inside. Can't get it to go. Numbers for Illinois and the finish for Rodgers. That's right. Damask a little strong on that one. There's Rodgers with the offensive rebound. Rebounding was a big key, and Illinois starting to flex its muscle on the glass a little bit more. Well, Gary, his... speaking of muscle, just muscling Jace Howard. Wow. The tip is there. Yeah, go ahead and flex, Quincy. I see you. And he kind of looked out of the corner of his eye when he caught the basketball instead of just going straight up. There's Rodgers. Ooh. Good pivot and finish. Ty Rodgers. He's had a nice bounce back as well. He does a great job of playing off two feet. Just gets in the paint, stays low so he can explode. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing low about that from Terrace Reed Jr. It's treated as if it's never been seen before sometimes. That's a good point. Very good point, Kevin. Deep two for Doug McDaniel. We might get some rhythm here. Ten point game. Hawkins shoveling it to Rodgers for the finish. Beautiful feed. Coleman Hawkins. Kamwa or Mc McDaniel has to touch it every time down. Kamwa inside against Goody, and there's Hawkins again. <laughs> Coleman Hawkins, he'll bring it up the floor. Damask, the trailer, gets the two. McDaniel bounced it back out, 15 to shoot. Kamwa, the entry, tough catch by Ooh. Reed. Help the bucket. He'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. McDaniel underneath to Reed. Count the bucket. He's going to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Well, there's Rodgers. Back it goes to Harmon. Push ahead against the pressure. Now numbers the lock to Gary. And the two-hand flush, big-to-big -big connection, and a big two for Illinois. And that's going to do it in this one. An impressive win on the road for Illinois over Michigan. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, a bounce-back victory.